this Hewlett Packard computer was the most important tool for me 30 years ago. Here I learned how to program efficient algorithms and to solve practical problems. Nowadays, I use these learnings to solve and program an effective hydrological model that is used in the drought monitor. Special for me is the unique combination of um, state-of-the-art computing facilities that we have here in this institute with the most brilliant minds of people that are developing algorithms and parameterizations and connecting with the world of uh, observations and mixing all together and improving models. That is fascinating. We would like to figure out what would be the consequences of what we had been doing in the Earth and, and estimate what would be the consequences for the amount of water and, and soil and, and the fate of nutrients, how much water will be available for the next generations, understanding first what we have done to be able to repair and to prepare adaptation measures for the future generations. We cannot observe the underground and we are missing a lot of information below the surface. It's a system, a natural system, which is um, not bounded, it's open, and we don't know the boundary conditions. And that means that when we start this model in the 1950, in the 1st of January, we don't know how was the amount of water before. So we need to make guesses and these unknown conditions introduce uncertainties. So this is very challenging. And the other part is uh, the uncertainty that everything has. Data has measurement errors, the processes are not complete, or models are approximations of reality. And we are still not able to include the human activities in these models. That's a very challenging task.